If a Christian told me that they were reading the God delusion, I'd be impressed. Even if they told me that there was no chance in hell that Dawkins was going to sway him and that they were just reading it to see how wrong he'd gotten it, I'd still admire the intellectual fortitude it takes to immerse oneself in something that one intrinsically rejects. So like the naive dipshit that I am, I assume that Christians would react with the same appreciation when I told them that I was reading the Bible. But whenever I've mentioned this to religious folks that I know, without exception, they've responded with some variation on the eye-rolling, hand-waving, now what do you want to go and do that for castigation? It's like they're insulted that I'm reading the book that they keep telling me to read. They tell me that I'm missing the point of Christianity by focusing on the Bible, or they, they tell me that the Bible's all about interpretation, so there's no point in a holistic reading by a non-believer. They'll complain that I won't take the time to truly understand each passage before rejecting them, or they'll invoke that magical biblical property where all the stuff they disagree with is allegory and the rest of it's literal. But the message is always the same whether they intend to send it or not. What they're telling me is, I don't trust my holy book to stand on its own. Not one of them seems to think that God is a talented enough writer or muse to inspire me. They basically admit that the only possible way to believe in this thing is to decide you're going to believe in it before you read it. If a Christian read The God Delusion, I wouldn't care if he spent half the time doodling dicks in the margin. Dawkins is an engaging author. He speaks clearly. He makes a convincing argument. I'd assume that encountering such a potent case for atheism would establish a small thorn of doubt that they'd have trouble setting aside. I would trust the text to make its point. And this is a book by some British dude. Not to downplay British dudes in general, or Dawkins in particular, but the other guys have a book that they claim was written by God Almighty, for fuck's sake. I'm willing to trust Dawkins to do something they can't reasonably expect from the omnipotent forger of the heavens? And by the way, no fair point now that Dawkins won't be relevant 2,000 years from now. He almost certainly won't, but trying to create present-day belief structures based on 2,000-year-old books wasn't my idea, was it? I recognize that 2,000 years from now, Dawkins' understanding of evolution and genetics will seem quaint, and the subjects he's addressing will have little or no bearing in the modern world, because it'll be two goddamn thousand years from now. Everything we wrote will be, at best, interesting from a historical and literary perspective. Even our morality will probably seem primitive by then. Strangely enough now, when I tell atheists that I'm reading the Bible, I get a big old pat on the back. Part of it's a better you than me sympathy, but part of it's also that genuine appreciation for intellectual integrity. If I'm going to spend so much time talking about this book, I should probably read it. And while I certainly don't think you have to read the whole thing to set aside the notion that it's the inherent word of God, if you intend to make dick jokes about Jesus on a weekly basis, you need to burrow deep into the literary asshole of Christianity. And I don't mind digging through those giant dingleberries for the sake of, like I said, intellectual integrity. But the Christians don't share that same atheist enthusiasm. It's almost like they know that their book is a moral guide like Caligula's a considerate host. Perhaps they know that even as a work of pure literature this thing's oversold. Perhaps they know that it has the factual integrity of a Spongebob episode. Perhaps they know that it's just a ridiculous conglomeration of irrelevant myths from a barbaric cult. But hey, maybe I'm being too quick to judge. After all, how would a Christian know any of that shit? It's not like they've ever read this thing.